situation to start in the vicinity of the outer ridge boy out here, uh, going east uh, to the Gabbards uh, and the Black Deep, going north around the Suffolk coast to Lowestoft to uh, Smith's Knoll, all the way across uh, to MSP, a turning mark um, from Holland, with a 30 mile, normally a run, probably going to be a run this year, down to Scavingham. Well, we were in class two last year because our rating was slightly lower. Uh, now our rating's popped up a bit and we've just squeezed into the bottom of class one. It, it should be our day today, it's off the wind quite a bit, uh, we hope, and therefore make as much of a dent in Tonnerre as we can, really. That's our objective. There's nobody else really in that class that, uh, that troubles us. Um, so, you know, we want to be up there, you know, top three, top five of class one. Out of 11, that would do. See how we go. Lee Ho. Lee Ho. on the first night, very gently to start with. No, keep going, look up! Come on, another metre, pull it! Sweat the sail! It's a bit of a fickle breeze again, so I had trouble getting it set and it's a job to know where she's best set with the tack line. But um, yeah, it's okay. Well, it's um, different. It's the first time playing with a big asymmetric. It's got a mind of its own. Last chance. You can see where we are, which are, is the uh, the black. Uh, outline of our boat there, heading in a north uh, easterly direction. Uh, if you can see on the top of the screen is the uh, the X, which is the mark we're aiming for. And uh, as you see, we might have to jive back in towards England because we're playing the wind angles at the moment. We can't go dead downwind to that mark. Yep. So at the moment, we're making dumplings for the stew. Consists of a beef suet, none of that vegetarian rubbish today. Hold them up. There we have the dumplings. Completed dumplings. The completed dumplings. Oh, with some sweet Eddie. in there carrot, potato, um, leek. It's a nice bit of uh, meat from the local butchers. Hot <laughs> and chunky. Very good. 10 out of 10. Oh, Excellent. God. Why do I do it? Well, I've got no friends ashore. Well, it's a lot more of a challenge, and it's, um, I think it's a lot more fun. You have to have quite a good, I don't know, you have to get along quite well with everyone else on the boat. I think I keep coming and thinking, I won't be sea I can't possibly be that seasick yet again. Um, <laughs> I keep proving myself wrong. We are uh, on our way to Smith's Knoll. Uh, we're a bit off, quite a bit off track because of the wind direction. But uh, we hope to be at Smith's Knoll by about you know, between I don't know, 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there was an excellent rock mark rounding. We soon settled down back on um, uh, a bit of a, a, a shy ridge. Uh, we two white sails, two sail reaching across to MSP Boy, about 60 miles away. To Charlie. Charlie. Charlie was. Uh, an offshore, east coast offshore sailor. So did he do this race with you a few times? Yeah, uh, loads of times, yeah. So very well liked and loved uh, sailor of the east coast. Well, after rounding Smith's Knoll, we um, had a good 
fast two sail reach. Uh, we caught up with half a dozen boats and overtaken two, although we should have been ahead of them in the first place. So we're in good shape. Thank you guys. We're uh, his MSP boy here. Finish at Scaveningham. Now on a header, so we're clutching on to the fair tide to take us home. Three hours left, 24 miles, the speed's dropping from nine to seven knots. We've, for the last stretch into um, Scaveningham, we've um, been very lucky. We got um, up to windward with the, uh, the other boats and uh, we're bearing away for the line onto, well, a kind of beam reach and we've hoisted our code zero. A very tight reaching kite uh, set on a set on a carver furler so you can hoist the whole thing. It's supposed to be convenient to use, i.e. hoist um, furl in and out. And it gives you um, some great height off the wind and obviously great speed as well for uh, not a lot of breeze, under 12 knots ideally. And uh, here we are uh, six miles out from the line doing nine and a half knots with half an hour of fair tide. So as we said before, we shall see. Done it. We've crossed the line of finish, yeah. 12, uh, 12, 16 and 20 seconds. Red, white, blue. Uh... We achieved second in class one, beating Tonnerre, for example, and uh, obviously the five other boats in our class. So satisfied overall that we achieved what we wanted to do, i.e. against uh, boats of our same class and, uh, and rating.